center for your Seattle Seahawks, Olu Oluwatimi. How are you, man? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good. Good to talk to you again. I was. Uh, uh, we had a chance to talk to you a few months ago in our little room there, and I, uh, my co-host didn't have a chance to uh, be there that day. And I remember telling him, "Man, you're going to like this guy. You're going to like this guy. He's <laughs> smart. He's he's a, he's got a football mind. He's he's going to be into it." But now that you've had some time under your belt, some practices, you've been out here. How comfortable are you? How, how, how good does it feel out there? It feels good. It feels really good. Each day is like a, a new day. Um, I always tell my boys, ask me how NFL camp is. I'm like, it's, it's very mental. Um, I'm learning the playbook. I got to communicate at the line of scrimmage and um, make sure everybody's on the same page. Do you, uh, do you think it helped you, Olu, coming from, um, you know, having Harbaugh, you know, who had coached in the NFL? Did he kind of prepare you a little bit you think more yeah than definitely I, I think uh being at michigan definitely lessened my uh learning curve uh making it switch from college to the nfl so i'm grateful for the time i spent um at michigan so what's it what's this been like for you though just in terms of we always talk about and dave talked about his time in the league and you know when you're here everybody's great whether they're a big name or not you're going up against the best of the best whereas in college maybe there are a couple guys you look at and go that guy's special i can dominate the rest Mm -hmm. what's a bit has that been the realization you've had out here 100 percent um you know every snap i'm going against somebody good and uh my technique has to be right or i'm uh, going to get beat so just being able to hone into the technique making sure i'm targeting um making sure my hands and my hat placement are, are you know where they need to be What's been the biggest surprise as far as like some little emphasis, point of emphasis that's different at this level than the next or before? Um, uh, how every day is something new. I like that. That's definitely the one thing. Like I got to make sure I'm staying in my playbook. Like if I don't look at the playbook every day, then I'm a, I'm a step slower the next day. So that that's a uh, that's something that's I would say that's new. When do you look at your playbook? Just at night? Just yeah when so relaxing yeah so when i'm at the facility obviously we got means and all that so we're watching film installing and doing different things and then um i'm looking at the playbook the night before um looking at whatever the new install is and looking at the run cards and seeing the formations and seeing what what defense i think that we're gonna we're gonna have to play against like if they're gonna come out in base or nickel and uh what my calls would be so yeah you know, one of the one of the things that Dave and I don't mean to talk like you're not here, but he, you know, just talking about when he's played was that everything at the NFL level is precise. Like, hey, you're gonna you're gonna take a six inch step to your left or right here. College, you can get away with you know playing up high. You're not down low. Whatever, whatever it is, but everything's exact here. Is that what you found even as a center? Like, hey, man, if I'm gonna step to the left or right, it's got to be exactly this this big of a step or this big of a step forward or back? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I notice it every day. Like, when I get beat, I'm like, okay, maybe my hands, I didn't drive my, my uh, like, I didn't drive my hands through defender or drive my backside knee through the defender and things of that nature. So every play, like, I get beat, there, I could always pinpoint it to somewhere in my technique or me being late um, off the bar or something like that. Have you had kind of a welcome to the NFL moment out here from, like, like Bob was saying, everybody is special here, you know. There's some guy that you never heard of, and he knocks the crap out of you. <laughs> yeah, any, anything like that yet? No, I haven't had, like, a, a, a true welcome to the NFL moment. Um, I've, I've won some reps. I've lost some reps. So um, just trying to win more than I lose, and hopefully I don't, <laughs> I don't have a welcome to the NFL moment. <laughs> have you guys had a padded practice yet? We had two. Two of them. Okay. Yes. Was that, I mean, was that the realization, like, okay, now I'm here. This is this is real now when the hitting starts? Yeah, I mean, it, it, definitely the intensity is up than when it's just the helmet day. But um, the big thing that, like, in our old line room that uh, Coach Andy, he just tells us, like, nothing changes um, now that we got on pads. You know, the, the standard is still the standard. You know, the techniques are still the same. The intensity is going to be up. But you can't let that deter you from, like, what he's teaching us to do. We're going to have Ray Roberts on. I think you were friends with his son, right? Yep. Yeah, so yeah, he's coming on. Ray and I played together, actually. And, yeah, he was talking about uh, you back at Virginia. And then, you know, actually originally you started Air Force, right? Yes, sir. So kind of take us through real quick, you know, that, that transition. You end up at Ma- Michigan. You know, from my day, everybody went to the same school that they went to. But now it's so different. And how, what kind of led you to from Air Force to Virginia to Michigan? Yeah, I mean, when I got to Air Force, I really I really went to Air Force to start out because I didn't have a lot of opportunities coming out of high school. I got there and I was just like, man, this really isn't for me. And then I ended up transferring to Virginia, um, played, started a lot of games and played well. And then I wanted to go to the NFL a year earlier than I um, ended up entering the draft 
but the feedback was to come back to school. Our head coach resigned, so I didn't really want to be at Virginia if our head coach wasn't going to be there. So then I entered the transfer portal, and then uh, Michigan was just a perfect fit. So that's that's what led me to Michigan. Yeah. What's that like playing in the big house when it's Pat? What is that? Hundred and ten thousand, yeah, something like, like that. What is? Yeah, hundred ten plus. I mean, the noise, it gets loud at, at, at Lumen. Lumen. You'll, you'll certainly hear that. But what, what's that feel like out there in front of that many people? It's awesome. Just running out the tunnel, um, hitting the banner, the Go Blue banner, and uh, just seeing all the amazing blue in the stands. And, um, you know, it's a crazy fan base. And this is the, you know, the Seahawks fan base is also a crazy fan base. So I'm excited for that. But it was, it was an awesome experience. What do you think about all this stuff going on in college football right now? We were talking about the Pac-12 possibly going away, and guys are departing for different conferences. Any any thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, I honestly don't know how everything is going to end up shaking up. Uh, there's probably going to be some regulation. I'm happy that the you know the Big Ten is getting stronger for sure, adding UCLA and USC. Um, but. You know, I, I don't try to – I don't really know all, all that much about it, but I am happy that the Big Ten is getting stronger. Yeah, well, it's funny. You were talking about the big house. Like, I played at Stanford where there was 86,000. We would get, like, a quarter of that. <laughs> and, and you look at a lot of the games on the West Coast, you just don't see that many fans. But, I mean, you go to the Big Ten, SEC, and they're just like – it's like a pro game. Yeah, no, it's, it's, the atmospheres are awesome. Um, even at teams that aren't doing too well. Um, but they still they they still pack the stadium and and it's pretty loud even on the road when teams are probably winning three four games a year. So you're going to be used to Lumen Field when you get down there. And yeah, I'm very excited for go. for a home game. Yeah, the, <laughs> it, it's loud. You're going to enjoy that. You're going to enjoy it. Olu, good to talk to you again, man. Excited yeah. to see you out there. Get the season going and games that are for real and all that. So yeah, we wish you the best, man. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank you guys for having me. There you go. Olu Oluwatimi of your Seattle Seahawks spending a few moments with us. Good to catch up with him.